In the previous activity, we examined cross-sectional survey studies and observational design. In this activity, we will consider two more observational designs, which are both longitudinal, cohort and case control studies. In cohort studies, a cohort of subjects are identified who are free from the outcome of interest or disease. They are then followed up over a period of time during which they will have varying levels of exposure to the risk factor of interest and some will develop the outcome of interest. We are then able to examine whether people who are exposed develop the disease more frequently than those who are not exposed. Cohort studies are an observational, most commonly prospective design used to examine the causes of disease and understand the relationship between exposure, sometimes referred to as risk factors, and disease. As a cohort study follows a group of people over time, it can give us information about the incidence of diseases and clear temporal associations between exposure and outcomes can be assessed. The design is particularly efficient for the study of rare exposure, but not for the study of rare diseases. It can be used to explore the association between multiple exposures and multiple outcomes. However, cohort studies can be problematic they tend to be large and given that many diseases have a long latency, tend to be conducted for long periods of time, making them time consuming and expensive. As people are being followed up over a period of time, the validity of a cohort study can be threatened by dropouts from the study. Also, changes over time in diagnostic methods and measurement techniques can lead to misleading results. Some of these challenges in conducting cohort studies are now able to be met with the use of electronic health records and disease registers for research. Cohort studies are being designed using these existing data sources and new record linkage methods. As they do not rely on having to keep track of subjects individually with outcomes being extracted from electronic health records or death registrations, retention rates are much improved. Electronic health records have also extended follow-up of previously studied samples, enabling the study of a wide range of exposures and long-term outcomes. Case control studies are observational and longitudinal, like cohort studies, but unlike cohort studies, they are retrospective. A group of subjects with the outcome or condition of interest are identified, along with a group of control subjects. Data is then collected on retrospective exposure and risk factor variables in order to examine the association between risk factors and the outcome by comparing the frequency of risk factors in the case and control groups. The selection of controls needs to be carefully considered to minimise confounding factors. One way to do this is to match controls to cases by known confounding factors, commonly age and gender. The sample will then be balanced across those confounding factors. Case control studies are efficient for the study of rare diseases or those of a long latency and require comparatively fewer subjects than cohort studies, making them relatively inexpensive compared to most other designs. The association between multiple risk factors and a single outcome is examined, but the prevalence or instance of the outcome cannot be estimated using this design. They are also limited in the extent to which temporal relationships can be established due to the difficulty in ensuring exposure occurs before outcome. The cohort study we are going to consider in more detail in the next few steps is examining the association between dog ownership and the risk of cardiovascular disease and death. Previous research had produced conflicting evidence as to whether dog ownership is associated with a lower risk of cardiovascular risk and death. It having been shown to increase physical activity, reduce social isolation and improve perception of well-being, but the benefits not extending to objective health benefits. Using multiple routinely updated databases of the Swedish population, socio-demographic, dog ownership, confounding variables and multiple cardiovascular outcome data was extracted and linked. This study is an excellent example of how the recent advances in information technology and data science has enabled robust, affordable and large-scale studies to be undertaken.